good evening and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Noah Wolf. Here are today's top stories. This just in, a federal judge blocked President Trump's latest travel ban. The ban was set to start tomorrow, but a judge stated that the order clearly discriminates against people based on nationality. This is Trump's third attempt at passing a policy that stops specific nations from entering the United States. Back on campus, the free HIV clinic scheduled for today has been postponed. The LGBT Resource Center had to close the event because the proper equipment did not come in on time. The event is being rescheduled, but organizers have not yet announced a date. In downtown Syracuse, a deputy accidentally shot himself. Justin Brannock was taking his gun out last night when he fired it by mistake. The incident happened inside an Onondaga County Justice Center locker room. The bullet brushed against the deputy's leg, but no one else was hurt. At least 41 people are dead and 150 people are injured after an attack in eastern Afghanistan. Two car bombs exploded at the gate of police headquarters before attackers entered the building and shot at police for five hours. The Taliban claimed responsibility for the attack this morning. And taking a look at the quad cam, after some rainy days, the sun is finally back in Syracuse. Students saw high temperatures in the 60s and a low temperature of 50 degrees today. Josh Feinblatt will have more on weather with his full forecast on News Live at 6. And that's all for your Citrus TV News Brief. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Citrus TV News and check out our website, CitrusTV.com. Stay tuned for News Live at 6 with Connor Federico and Elisa Candiotti. I'm Noah Wolf. Have a great evening, Syracuse.